uh, where the environment is never level at any one particular time. Uh, so you find that many young people who basically are interested in getting into business, which is something good for the industry, for the country, uh, they have we have a couple of challenges, and the challenges they have basically include things like capital and English, and sometimes even just the vision they have. Uh, some people can be very excited about a product or a service that we be able to get into, but the challenge will always be, can, have you formed your mind in terms of the vision of the business that you like to do? Uh, do you understand the market, you know, what, where you're going to sell and who you're going to sell to? Uh, because some, many times we look at the product only and we don't look at the end result in terms of where you're going to, how you're going to sell it. Uh, so the, the millennials have a challenge of, uh, of, um, of uh, capacity in terms of how do you start a business and what kind of business plan do you need, uh, where do you look for capital, and um, uh, what, can, what, what kind of support do you need in terms of uh, business planning. So I think th th there's a great opportunity for young people to get into business, uh, and especially so in, in this country. Uh, the, the economy is opening up and quite a number of opportunities are opening up, and, and we think we need to encourage them to be able to get into business. But I think we need environments that can be able to create good entrepreneurs uh, as, as, as businesses, yes. And uh, Fred, do you interact a lot with the SMEs and uh, the business uh, people? What are some of the areas that uh, majority are tilting towards? Is it technology? Is it opening up uh, shops? What is defining the new trend in the industry? Uh, ideally, um, we do a lot of, um, we, um, from, a, from a, 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 a pensions and kind of financial services we provide, we interact a lot with, with the young people. And we are currently running an institute of pension management, basically on training. And we're doing a lot of um, career planning for, 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 for young people at the university. And one of, the, one of the things when we interact with them a lot, they, they, they are going more into, into technology. Yeah, uh, which is a good thing. I mean, there is a lot of space in technology in terms of uh, application development uh, and in terms of uh, provision of services around the technology areas. So I think my, my and then the other area is uh, more young people are getting interested in in, in, uh, in agriculture. Interestingly, uh, you will see more people wanting to invest in agriculture. The only challenge is they don't want to touch soil. You know, but they like to invest in agriculture, so they will want to fund somebody who can be able to um, a farm and then be able to give them a return, mm -hmm. but not necessarily going into the farm to be able to do uh, farming. Or is so, it so? Is it that they are not the experts, or, or what? I, I, I think it's just the fact that um, uh, agriculture service is a dirty, it's a, a dirty business. You, know, you mm. must go to the farm and you know soil yourself. For you people who did not succeed in school. Uh, oh yes, that, 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 that's always the thinking, mm. which is not, not necessarily. Sure. And, and more people are thinking, more, especially young people. More people are realizing that's not necessarily for the for the people who have failed. But I think it is, it is somewhere where you can invest. So they're looking for organizations that will be able to pull funds together and invest in agriculture. And I think that is a, the trend that I'm seeing more people doing it. Uh, and of course, as I mentioned, technology uh, in terms of this. And also, you, we're seeing more people coming into finance in terms of investment. Um, the, the, like for example, the time and benefits industry is just about 18 years old. And it's growing very fast, providing more opportunities for people to come in to provide services to the to the people who are serving in the time and benefits industry. So we think that those are the areas that basically uh, is being, money is being driven to in terms of capital for investments. All right, and talking yeah. about career planning, majority of the young people from various interactions I have had is that um, they're very poor at planning and saving for a rainy day. Of course, the pressures of life, the cost of living, there are all sorts of excuses, but in terms of the gaps in the market, companies like Octagon, how are you engaging with various uh, needs of the market so that we have a situation where we have more people saving and they're getting returns as they save? Yeah, um, that, that's an interesting area. It's, um, saving is, is, a, is a culture. It's basically an issue of a culture, not necessarily having enough to save, because you will never have enough to save. Mm -hmm. uh, I tell people that uh, you start getting a salary of, of 50,000 Kenya shillings and you don't have enough. You start, you get a salary of 1 million shillings over time and you still not, don't have enough. So it's basically a culture. Actually, what really happens? It, it, it's it, it's, uh, it's the, the, higher, the higher the salary increases, the, the, the needs <laughs> grow, mm -hmm. or you want to serve yourself much better. You know, right. you, you stay. You, you it's start, by human nature. Absolutely human nature. All right. Uh, you, 
you start you start off you start off staying in in Kamangwari, for example, and you get a salary of, of ten thousand Kenyan shillings. When you get a salary of fifty, you want to go to Buruburu. If you get a salary of a hundred thousand, you want to go to somewhere else. So the thing is that human nature tries to make sure that you are surviving and and getting into the level that you want to be, a class that you want to leave. Mm. Now that then takes away you know disposable income for you in terms of saving. So what we have been trying to encourage the young people is that when you get to employment first thing, is that you need to start saving qu quite early. So you, you create a culture of saving from day one. And that helps you to make sure that in, as you grow up, you, you're already forgetting that 10%, you're already forgetting that 15% that you're saving. Rather than when you get in employment and you don't save at all, you start consuming all the money that you have. So in the middle, when you want to save, you don't have enough money. But Fred, are there yes. enough incentives in the market to enable people to save? Because there's also that other element. Uh, absolutely. The, the government has given quite a number of incentives. For example, tax. You know, today if you earn a salary of 100,000 Kenya shillings and the tax is, for example, 30%, you'll, you'll take home 70,000 Kenya shillings. But if you are saving 10,000 shillings into a retirement benefit scheme, your tax will be becomes 90. So your tax comes down by, by 3,000 Kenya shillings. So you save more money if you save in, in, a, in terms of tax saving in retirement benefit scheme. But then two also, as pension funds, we have had, we now, the, the, the market has in, is improved. In terms of uh, investments, the returns are becoming better. You can never get a, a return anywhere else that you, than uh, compared to what you get from retirement benefit schemes. Our schemes, for example, have been giving returns to the extent of about 17, 18% per annum. Now you can't get that return anywhere else. So which means that it gives you a better place where you can able to put your money in terms of savings. So we think that there is an opportunity for young people to save and, and put money aside for a purpose of retirement. Now we know that the challenge... You have an order for my eyes. We've done in our, in our business is that we no longer talk... And to engage the... We run three programs. And one we run for 25 and below. I mean 30, 25 to 35, which is what we call fast check management helping members to understand that saving is an important aspect, but also managing your money. You kid a young man. A young man you met sleeping with your wife. It's uh, Fred. Now that we've explored all these opportunities that are in the market, as well as the instruments like uh, what you are doing at, at Octagon. Millennials and businesses, very intriguing conversations for sure happening right there. But let's move forward now. The waterfront at Karen Mall is set to open for business on Jamhuri Day this year, the 12th of December 2018. Now, during the recently 